Without objection. Mr. President, as we cut taxes, there's one important goal that I keep as most important. We need more good paying jobs, we need bigger paychecks for hardworking Montanans. It was just announced that the Senate draft tax bill that will repeal a tax that fundamentally targets the low to middle income in my state and across the nation. In fact, in Montana alone, 75% of the people who pay this tax make less than $50,000 a year. In fact, in Montana, 32.5% make less than $25,000. And this isn't just an antidote. In 2015, if you look across the nation, 79% of those who paid this tax make less than $50,000 a year. In fact, a little over 37% make less than $25,000 per year. Mr. President, the IRS pickpocketed over $3 billion from approximately 6.5 million Americans in 2015 alone, a majority of whom make less than $50,000 per year. This is a tax targeted at those in poverty. And what is this tax, you might ask? Where in the world did it come from? I'll tell you where it came from. It came from Obamacare. It's the Obamacare poverty tax, otherwise known as the individual mandate, which forces people to purchase health insurance or pay a fine. The poverty tax systematically taxes those making less than $50,000 a year. And if it wasn't enough, then Obamacare plans are already too expensive for some of these folks, then the IRS adds insult to injury by fining them, taxing them for not being able to afford it. Some say that Obamacare steals from the rich to give to the poor, but honestly, Obamacare's individual mandate is really Robin Hood in reverse. Obamacare's poverty tax is like Robin Hood stealing from the poor to pay King John. It's unthinkable that we would leave such a provision in the law when we have the opportunity to repeal it. And by repealing it, we would save $338 billion over 10 years. That's over $300 billion that we can put towards additional tax relief for small businesses and families. Now, alternatively, if we do nothing, CBO projects that we will increase taxes because of this poverty tax $43 billion. And those taxes will be paid primarily by America's low and middle income families. $43 billion in taxes on those who can afford it the least. Obamacare's poverty tax must go. And there's no better time to get rid of it than right now. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to join me in fighting on behalf of the low and middle class of our nation. You know, Benjamin Franklin is credited with the phrase, just two things in life are certain, death and taxes. That may be so, but we don't need to make them both quite so painful. And that's why I'm glad to see a repeal of the Obamacare poverty tax. It's been included in the current Senate draft tax legislation. And I urge my colleagues in the House of Representatives to do the same. Thank you, Mr. President.